Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will be solving three different numerical problems based on the principle of transformer and its equivalent circuit. In the previous few videos, I had explained the working principle of transformer, its phasor diagram and equivalent circuit. The mathematical formulas which I am going to use in these problems have been developed in that videos. You can check the link of that videos which is available in the description box if you haven't checked that videos earlier. Now let's start with the first problem. The first problem is a 175 kVA 6600 to 400 volt 50 hertz single phase transformer has 100 turns on the secondary. So this should be secondary. Calculate the full load primary and secondary currents, number of primary turns and maximum flux. So what is given to us? The KVA rating is given or the apparent power is given. One seventy five KVA. Primary side voltage is given. V one is sixty six hundred volts. Secondary side voltage is four forty volts. The number on the sec number of turns on the secondary are also given. That is hundred. Firstly, we need to calculate the full load primary and secondary current. So, for calculating full load primary and secondary current, we need to use that S is equals to V into I. So, S is remaining same on primary and secondary side. So, we can say S is equal to V1 into I1 or V2 into I2. So, for calculating full load primary current, it will be S upon V1. S is 175 kVa. So, 175 into 10 raised to power 3 because we need to change it in volt amperes. Voltage on the primary side is 6600. So, which gives us the value of full load current on the primary side as 26.52 amperes. Similarly, we can calculate the full load current on the secondary side, which is equal to apparent power upon the secondary side voltage. Apparent power we need in volt amperes. So, that is why 175 into 10 raised to power 3 upon 440. So full load current on the secondary side is 397.73 amperes. In second part, we need to calculate the number of primary turns. We know that in case of transformer, V1 upon V2 is equals to I1 upon, sorry, N1 upon N2. which is equal to I2 upon I1. So, we can use any of these relationship either V1 upon V2 is equals to N1 upon N2 or I2 upon I1 is equals to N1 upon N2. I am going to use this one. So, N1 will be equal to V1 upon V2 into N2. V1 is 6600, V2 is 440, N1 is 100 sorry n2 is 100 which gives us the value of n1 is 1500 so number of turns on the primary side are 1500 the third one is maximum value of flux now for finding out the maximum value of flux we need to use a emf equation we need to use emf equation now, as per EMF equation, E1 is equals to 4.44 Fn1 phi max. We have the value of E1, 6600. 4.44 frequency is 50 hertz, it is given. N1 we have calculated 1500 into phi max. So, which gives us the value of phi max as 0 0.0198 Weber. This can be calculated from the 
सेकेंडरी साइड ई एम एफ ऑल्सो वेयर द ओनली चेंज इन द इक्वेशन इज दैट वी हैव टू राइट एन टू रेस्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स आर रिमेनिंग सेम सो आंसर फॉर द मैक्सिम फ्लक्स विल रिमेन सेम Now coming to the second problem. This problem is based on the phasor diagram. A single phase transformer with primary and secondary turns of thousand and two hundred respectively. So n one is thousand, n two is two hundred. Draws a no load current. of 3 ampere at a power factor of 0.2 lagin so no load current that is i not this one is 3 ampere at 0.2 lagin power factor it's given when secondary current is 250 ampere at power factor of 0.8 lagin so secondary current is also given 250 ampere at 0.8 Lagging power factor. Calculate the primary current and power factor. Neglect the voltage drop in the windings. Now, from the phasor diagram, what we had that primary side current is actually phasor sum of no load current and load component of primary current, which is denoted by I naught dash. since it's the phasor sum so we need to consider their angles the angle can be calculated from the power factor which is given along with the no load current as well as with the secondary side current so we can write the value of i not as 3 angle will be cos inverse 0.2 and it will be minus since it's a lagging power factor so i not is 3 angle is minus 78.46 amperes so this is the value of i not now we need to calculate that what is i1 dash i1 dash is load component of current its magnitude can be calculated from the secondary current since n1 into i1 dash it should be equal to i2 into n2 so i1 dash will be equal to i2 into n2 upon n1 now we have the value of i2 as 250 n2 is 200 and n1 is 1000 so this gives us the magnitude of i1 dash it's only about the magnitude i1 dash is 50 ampere now the angle by with this i1 dash lags behind the primary side voltage is same as the angle with which the secondary side current lags behind the secondary side voltage so that we can calculate from here since this secondary side current is 250 amperes at point 8 lagging power factor so from here we can calculate theta 2 which will be cos inverse point 8 36.87 degrees so this i1 dash it will also lag behind the primary side voltage by 36.87 degrees so this is the value now we can calculate i1 which is phasor sum of i not and i1 dash i not is 3 angle minus 78.46 i1 dash is 50 angle minus 36.87 so i1 is 52.28 angle minus 39.05 3 degree amperes now you need to keep in mind that you can't add them algebraically since current on the primary side is phasor sum of no load current and the load component of current 
Now this 39.053 is the angle by which this I1 lags behind V1 by 39.053 degree. Why lags? Because this angle is coming out to be negative. So primary side power factor cos theta 1 is cos of 39.053 which is cos of 39.053 which is actually 0 0.777 and its lagging power factor. Now coming to the third problem. This problem is based on the equivalent circuit. A 500 kVA, 200 to 2, uh, 2000 to 200 volt, 50 hertz single phase transformer has a high voltage winding resistance of 0.2 ohm and leakage reactance of 0.4 ohm. Now what we see over here, this 2000 is on primary side. So high voltage winding is actually primary and low voltage winding is secondary. So primary winding resistance is 0.2 ohm, reactance is 0.4 ohm. The low voltage winding resistance is 0.02 ohm and the leakage reactance is 0.08 ohm. R2 is 0.002 ohm and X2 is 0.008 ohm. Find first part the equivalent resistance and the reactance refer to the high voltage side and the low voltage side. High voltage side means equivalent resistance on the primary side and low voltage means equivalent resistance and reactance on the secondary side. In second part we have to find out the equivalent resistance and reactance voltage drops in volts and in percentage of rated high volt rated voltage winding expressed in terms of high voltage quantities. So basically we need to find out the voltage drop on the primary side across the resistance as well as across the reactance and then we need to express them in percentage of the primary side voltage. Now let's start with the first part. Okay, what, what else is given? V1 is 2000 v2 is 200 so from there we can calculate the transformation ratio which is equal to n1 by n2 equal to v1 by v2 so 2000 by 200 a is 10 because we need this transformation ratio for calculating the equivalent resistance now the first part is we have to find out the equivalent resistance refer to the primary side which is equal to R1 plus R2 dash and what is this R2 dash? R2 dash is R2 into A square. R1 is 0.2, R2 is 0 0.002 into 10 square. So equivalent resistance referred to the primary side is 0 0.4 ohm. Similarly, we can calculate the equivalent reactance referred to the primary side which will be equal to x1 plus x2 dash where x2 dash is the secondary side reactance referred to the primary side which can be calculated as a square into x2. x1 0.4 into 10 a is 10 and x2 is 0.008. So equivalent reactance referred to the primary side is 1.2 ohm. Similarly, we have to calculate the equivalent resistance and reactance referred to the secondary side. Equivalent resistance referred to secondary side is R1 dash plus R2. Where R1 dash is R1 by A square plus A. R2. R1 is 0.2 by 10 square plus 0 0.002 which gives us the equivalent resistance on the primary uh, on the secondary side as 0 0.004 ohm similarly reactance 
refer to the secondary side is x1 dash plus x2 x1 by a square plus x2 x1 is 0.4 by 10 square plus 0 0.008 so equivalent resistance reactance referred to the secondary side is 0.012 ohm now these are the four answers corresponding to the first part of the problem second part of the problem is that we have to find out the voltage drop across the resistance and the reactance now to find out the voltage drop we need current current on high voltage side that is actually primary side current now how to find out primary side current primary side current can be found using the kva rating of the transformer and the primary side voltage now the kva rating of the transformer is 500 kva primary side voltage is 2000 so we can calculate i1 as s upon v1 500 into 10 raised to power 3 upon 2000 gives us the value of primary side current as 250 amperes now voltage drop across resistance it will be equal to i1 into equivalent resistance referred to the primary side 250 equivalent resistance referred to the primary side is 0.4 so this one is 100 volts now if we have to express the percentage voltage drop in terms of high voltage side voltage then it will be 100 by 2000 into 100 is 5 percent similarly we have to calculate the reactance drop on hv side it will be equal to i1 into equivalent resistance referred to the high voltage side it's 250 into 1.2 300 volts so when we have to calculate the voltage percentage voltage drop expressed in terms of high voltage side voltage so percentage voltage drop will be equal to 300 upon 2000 into 100 so 15 percent voltage drop on the primary side across the reactance in the next video i will be taking more problems on the transformer based on the efficiency or the equivalent circuit open circuit test or short circuit test i hope this video is helpful for you thanks for watching the video